Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 37 of my Minecraft 1.17 Survival Let's Play. So in this episode, I want to actually make use of the villagers that we've gotten in here. I won't spoil anything. It's in that room. So go back and check out episode 35 and 36 if you don't want to miss the rest of this weekend's videos. All right. Well, I'm going to assume that you have seen them and we're going to show off what we built. So this is our amazing villager the librarian area. That's pretty much all it is. And uh, inside of here, we have some librarians with some very useless trades at the moment. Uh, but no matter what trade we get, it's kind of hard to trade with them when we don't have emeralds. So I have been mining in between this episode and last, and I have acquired two beautiful project boxes, purple, of course. And we have everything we're going to need for this farm. So we've got our observers, we've got our pistons, and we've got our redstone, and then I think think we need redstone or peters but i really couldn't remember <laughs> i just made them anyways uh we got enough material blocks i spent a lot of time making these project boxes look pretty okay i think they look pretty good you know what's so good i'm gonna take some screenshots of both of them just so that you know you guys can make sure and see them on the thumbnail should i should i do so um, but yeah i'm just gonna build the sugarcane farm probably just all the way across like this way right here and I feel like that'll be enough sugarcane there. It's a very simple farm to make. Like it's really, really not hard at all. Um, I just need to make sure I can actually fit it. So what I'm going to do is put my project boxes down. We're going to grab some base materials here. We're going to need dirt. We're going to need these buckets off the bat and we're going to need this. And then we might as well try to set like one little row of them up. And then these are my building materials. So just grab a little bit of everything. I'll organize it. Okay. So we have everything we need. So the sugar cane looks like the sugar cane should be like right here. So we'll put the sugar cane right there. And then we'll of course put, I need to grab this. We'll put the water right here. And then we will put the piston like up here. I see. I don't know if this will work actually. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. I, okay. That's facing the wrong way. See that in and of itself might be tricky because I can't get, by, I mean, I can technically get behind it, but it's kind of difficult to do. And then you're supposed to put a block there and then put redstone there. But would this actually detect the change? And where's the water? Oh, the water's right there. No, so probably it is firing, but it's not working. So we're going to have to build this whole thing one block up. Let's do that real quick. Okay, let's see if this works. Yeah. Yeah, it works fine. Uh, the only tricky part is going to be putting these observers down. We may have to end up breaking some of the wall, but uh, it'll be okay. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, and then we'll probably cover up that block below there as well. So I'm going to copy this pattern like literally all the way over. And uh, it will have to break a row of glowstone stuff, which is, I may just end up moving it like a row back or something like that. Because I don't want to break too much of it. Um, but yeah, let me finish this area. It's going to take a little bit, but it's kind of a methodical thing. So I'll kind of enjoy it. Um, I'll do a little time lapse for you. How about that? Okay, so upon further inspection, I don't think this works because I'm pretty sure that the pretty sure that this would make the whole thing. That's not right. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it like it works, but it'll break some that are like, you see what I mean? Like even the repeater, like I'd have to have repeaters and like there's no repeaters here. I guess the observer would just launch. Yeah, whatever. You know what? It'll work fine. It's not exactly how I in intentioned this design to work, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm sleeping because obviously I'm going to have to break the outside of this pyramid to get these observers to fit. Otherwise, they're not going to fit because um, I can't like like squish myself and make myself be able to place them there. So I'm going to have to like break this entire wall of blocks, which will be pretty easy. I mean, it wasn't really going to matter. I can just come right over here and just break this one and get out anyways. Um, 
Yeah, I've been hearing you all night, dude. You are so annoying. You make the most annoying noises, and they're so weak, too. It's like they don't deserve to be making these kind of noises. They're supposed to they like sound really creepy, and then they're like just so weak. It's like, can you guys stop? Yeah, that's right, buddy. I don't care if you've got gold armor. You aren't going to be hitting me from over. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then let's make sure this guy doesn't try to get me because I'm not trying to deal with that. Oh, my gosh. My aim is so bad. I even made that target practice on Hardcore Season 2. You guys remember that? You know, I was supposed to get really good. Yeah, I didn't get really good. Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. So I guess each one will emit a signal, so it doesn't really matter if that they launch a bunch around them. Um, I think the old design I used used repeaters, and I think I just forgot to put them there, which is fine. But I'm surprised I even remembered it this far, to be honest with you. So props to me for that. Hey, we got a wandering trader up there. And we get a creeper trying to blow me up and blow our project up. Okay, well, let me finish doing this, and I'll come back when I'm done. It's not going to take that long. It's just going to be kind of annoying to do and watch. Are you serious, guys? I'm trying to end the clip here, okay? Okay, and now that all those are placed, I'm just going to fill in the little area of the pyramid that we had to destroy here. So it shouldn't take long at all. Okay, and there we go. So now, obviously, i got to remove this layer. Um, I don't really want to because there's glowstone under there. But you got to do what you got to do. And what I'm going to do is just move it one block back. Problem is, I don't have silk touch on any of my tools. Um, but I'm going to see, do I have glowstone in here? No, I have the purple glass, though. Uh, I can just go get some more glowstone that I have in my house. Hold on. Okay, so I have the glowstone and I have the purple glass. So I can go ahead and just put up some of these build materials that I do not need anymore. I overmade a little bit of them, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, but now we just got to break all of these. And uh, I also, what I need to do, I brought some torches because I need to light up the area behind here because stuff is going to spawn back here for sure. So let me do that. Okay, so all the torches are placed down there now. And uh, I'm going to be putting a block down here um, just because in a block like down here, I mean, we don't actually need it in the other spot, uh, but like right here, just because you're going to want that so that the sugar cane falls exactly where you want it to fall. So I'm just going to have like a big line. Uh, I'm not going to do hoppers, a big line of water that flows probably to like this end over here. And that way I can AFK and get gunpowder. I feel like if I have everything built into one little area, like I have a creeper farm, um, I could have a normal mob farm too. I could have a villager breeder. I could have a ton of stuff in here. And I feel like that would be really cool to like have an all in one base, you know? I feel like not many people have that. So I don't know. Maybe it's a neat little idea. Uh, but don't mind me. I'm going to go around here and just break all this stuff. So I'll be back in a minute when I'm done. Okay. So this is all broken now. And then obviously the rest of this is just going to be dirt. Now there's a little bit of glowstone dust trapped in there in some areas. So I'm going to try to push it out. But if I can't get, you know what? No, I'm not going to try to push it out. It is not going to want to come out. But yeah, let me finish filling in the dirt now. I guess using sand in here would have been slightly more fitting since we're in like a desert themed area, but eh, you know what? It's not a big deal really. Okay. So now I'm going to go and move all of these. So they're obviously still going to be like in the row of where they should be. And no, I can't. I just remembered because you know, what's going to go here. This is going to be where the drops are flowing. So they need to be like right here. So they're going to have to be this close. Which I guess is fine. I really don't care. It's not that big of a deal. So let me go around and break all of this and fill these in. Alrighty. So that's all done. And uh, apparently the sand likes to pop up after the fact, which is really annoying. Okay. So now the last step would be to like plant the sugar cane and then we will set up the water flow here in a minute. So all I got to do is plant all of this all the way across. Okay, there we go. You think we have enough sugarcane production here? I don't know. You tell me. Um, then we're not going to need a lot of these anymore. Uh, we are going to need a lot of glass, which I, I could use purple glass. I should probably use purple glass for this. Like I honestly probably should. So let's go and find, okay, yeah, we, we will, okay, you can't put shoulder boxes in a shoulder box. Now that makes sense. That would get to be a little bit tricky, I can imagine. Um, so we'll put up most of this stuff. I'm just trying to remember where I put my purple glass, and I'm pretty sure it's in the village that's way over there. So uh, I will take, what is that? That is not right. 
That is not right. Okay. I am going to go to the village then over there and check to see if my uh, my die is over there. Okay. So it's not over there, um, which is unfortunate. So I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to make more purple die. I'm not sure why I didn't just do this off the bat. So I already have the lapis, like a lot of lapis. So all I have to get is this stuff and then just combine it with, I think, and here's some lapis. No, I know there's lapis somewhere. I mean, I guess not. <laughs> I thought I had some lapis, but either way, I know it's in the, oh yeah, it's in the chests where the villagers are. But yeah, let me just gather some red flowers and then we'll be on our way with a ton of purple glass. Well, my lapis isn't in here either, so I don't know where it is. All I know is I love that mine cart. That saves my, that saves my time so much so. Oh man. Okay. Well, all, I know I have lapis up here. I just like, I, I didn't want to have to go up there, but that's okay. Oh yeah. And I'm just growing dark oak wood. I'm not going to leave these trees in here. Those are just so that I can actually just grow wood. Um, of course, I'm going to break them. They're not permanent fixtures in the pyramid. For those of you who are wondering, unless we add some gold to them and make them like gold trees, in which case maybe then. So I have lapis. Where's my lapis? Okay. Thank you. I shall only need one. I need blue dye. I need red dye. I need, need red dye. Now I need purple dye. Oh, that gives you two stacks. That's fine. Now we need to make glass in large amounts. So I don't think we'll need any more purple glass after this. This is probably the most I've ever made. There we go. Nice. I mean, it looks really good. I really like the way purple glass looks. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty clean. So now let's go back down to the sugarcane farm, finish it off, and then we'll build the water canal and then a little hopper at the bottom. It's really easy to do. And uh, whoever thinks dreams uh, crafting a boat on the way down thing, that's a, you guys know that's fake, right? I just have to make sure everyone knows it's fake, right? <laughs> I, I still can't get over it every time I see a meme about it. I'm like, there's people out there that believe that this guy is like doing that for real. And I'm like, oh, man, it makes me sad. Makes me sad how many people are being tricked. Okay, anyways, back to the purple glass placement. We well, made like the perfect amount. We're on our last stack of purple glass here. And there we go. Now the whole thing is encased in purple glass. Obviously, you're going to have to have like a water canal go down there. Um, it looks kind of weird with the purple glass like in the ground. See what I mean? Like it just kind of looks wrong, honestly. But I don't know if the sugar cane is even going to grow because I'm pretty sure that it hasn't like none of these have grown yet like really so maybe I need to look at the light level here and see this is what is the block light level I don't even know how to read yes it's nine block so nine is like high ish what would that be now that'd be 13 let me see what sugarcane needs to grow what light level Okay, well, apparently sugarcane is one of the only blocks in the game or only plants in the game. Oh, there we go. That doesn't require a light level at all to grow. So it'll grow in complete darkness, which is kind of cool. Did not know that. Fun fact. Okay, so like I said, we just have to build a big old canal. It'll take like a good bit of distance eventually here, like because, you know, the thing will start going pretty deep. I don't have a shovel still. I don't know where my shovel is. I got to find my shovel, man. I can't keep doing this without a shovel. This is just so painful. I know it's it's probably up here. Hold on. Okay, mystery of the forgotten shovel. Are you in here? That is a grand question. I'm pretty sure there is going to be a shovel in here, but is it my shovel? I don't know. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Honestly, these all look good to me. I'll just take this brand spanking new one I just had sitting in there. Okay, obligatory. Can we hit the bucket? Can we hit the bucket? 360? Dude, I haven't missed a bucket. It's been like the seventh or eighth bucket. How much gunpowder do we have, by the way? Good. So this creeper farm is horribly, like, just it's just horrible. It needs cats in the corner. It gets literally no spawns at all. So I might need to fix it at some point, but not right now, okay? Not right now. So just to start off, I know this is going to have to all be gone, so I'm just going to remove this top layer of wood so I don't ever have to switch to my axe again. And then I'm just starting on this side. I'm just removing all the sand um, because I can tell you right now that it's going to be deeper than this sand is right here, so... Might as well just make it right. I don't have to get my shovel out either. And then I can just break it very quickly with my pickaxe. And it'll all make sense in a second here. If you're kind of confused on what I'm doing, it'll it'll make sense. Although I feel like most people that watch my channel have been playing the game for a while. So you know exactly what's about to go down. But if you don't, that's okay too. Like it's really, it, it's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now I can just make my, uh, make my water go like this. 
all the way till it stops. So it looks like right there, and then go down another one. I don't know why you're being glitchy here. There we go. And then go down. And then we're already below where that sand was. So now we use the instant pickaxe. Oh, <laughs> I was like, this isn't breaking very quickly. Something is wrong because usually it breaks so fast I can't even control it. Like I have to like consciously just make sure I'm clicking just one time. Otherwise things start going haywire like that. Okay, so now I can at least break it all the way like this. Just so that it, it makes your job easier if you'll go back and just like do this. Like before you get to where it is the way eventually it'll get so high you can't even see the top. And by that point you've gone too far. So I think you can kind of see what's going on. It's kind of it, it is fun to do like I'll admit it is fun to do um, but it can be tedious if you don't do it in the exact way that I'm doing it kind of not really somewhat tedious okay so this might reach to the end no 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 we won't we'll have to go down one more time okay so this is gonna be at the end so it'll just, it'll just go into a hopper I'll collect it with a uh, little chest It'll be pretty easy. Um, I just, again, I need this because otherwise I'm not going to have any, like, sugar cane at all. Um, like, none. So we'll have it go over here and make sure it'll just go into a hopper right here. And then I'll build out a little area under here so that we have some room to spread our wings and uh, potentially have more than just one double chest. So give me a little bit. I'm going to break out this area into a nice size room. Okay, so I'm just finishing up a little bit more in here. And then hopefully we have enough wood to finish this. I don't actually know if we have any wood in our inventory. I'll be honest with you here. Uh, we have these two project boxes, but I don't think that's going to yield what we need here. I really just need some wood. We have the hoppers. Uh, we have some wood. Okay. I can just make it like this. But yeah, I just need some chests and then that's fine. I should probably make one more. I really just need some ladders so I can get on out of here. Uh, but I can always go back up and craft some ladders in a minute here. Uh, let's go ahead and just put this stuff in there. Okay, so my plan was to just put a hopper, which I think I have a bunch of hoppers. One of these project boxes. Oh, and there's a bunch of wood in there too. Okay, perfect. And uh, was there already chests in there? No, good. But at least now I have a way out so we can do some ladders like this. And then we'll just have the collection area. It'll just go like right up here. That way you can just come on down whenever you need to collect some sugar cane. Um, this thing will take a little bit to work. I'm probably going to go AFK before uh, before I record anymore just to, uh, you know, kind of get some sugar cane going. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to really do much of anything at all. And uh, that's not good. So I'll put a nice trap door here. That was the perfect spot, actually. Uh, I'll put a nice trap door there in just a minute. AKA right now. Because otherwise, I'll forget. Otherwise, I'll forget. We're going to put a trap door down. I already have it. <sighs> A crafting table okay you know what we'll just have two where's my okay there we go so that way it blends in very nicely you just come on down to your sugarcane collection area and we will use our chests here and obviously we're just gonna have like just a bunch of chests just like this just like that okay and then we'll just have them go into here 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 and here now, I think that'll work, right? Like when the bottom one gets full, they will go into the next one. I'm like 99% sure it's how that works, but if it doesn't work out, then we'll we'll fix it. Um, one thing I do need to fix before I go AFK is just to make sure that the sugar cane can get into there properly without falling out or anything. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go back up top and check it real quick, although I'm sure that it, it's gonna be just fine. Uh, I can't see how this thing would not work. I mean, it's just a basic sugarcane farm, but let's just check it just to be extra sure. We should probably close off the end over there that we opened up. Um, but yeah, now we just have to wait. One of these sugarcane is going to grow soon and it's going to activate and it'll break like a whole bunch of them because of how this thing is set up. But there we go. Now just to wait and see, hopefully something will happen here while I'm talking, maybe. Does RNG want to be friends with me? Please? I would really appreciate it. <laughs> hmm. Frustrating this is. <laughs> because it could, the second I turn the camera off, I bet you it'll happen. But if I leave it on, it probably won't. Hmm. 
Do you guys have 30 seconds of your time to wait? We're, we're, I'm just going to do this for 30 seconds. Okay, we'll just sit here. So I got until 2.15. So we'll just sit here. It's surely it's going to happen within 30 seconds. So how's everyone's day been? Everyone been doing good? Had a good weekend? Ready for another week of school or work or whatever you have? Are you ready? Because I'm not. <laughs> okay, we got 10 more seconds left on this uh, on this sitting here timer. Please, Sugarcane. Just please, dude. Please. Come on, I got one second. No, please. Ugh. Okay, I've waited like a minute or so. And surely, I just want to see this thing work one time, okay? Just one time. Do I have any? I don't even have any sugar cane to like make it work without like like make it work like in a cheating way. Because you know what's gonna happen is it'll grow like this, and it'll break it, right? And some of it'll fall in, and it looks like because of the plugin that I have that eliminates lag from drops, it looks like it's gonna kind of actually work a little better because it'll like band together easier than fall in. Anyways, I'm going to wait AFK for like, I don't know, probably a few hours because we need a lot of sugar cane to actually start trading. So I'm going to put myself in a secure box. I'll put myself somewhere in the middle of this deal. Yeah, you know, like right here. I'll build a nice secure box and I will just sit here and wait. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Let me eat before I go AFK. Otherwise, I'll lose all my stuff. Okay, see you then. So I might have just decided to film this the next day. So I might have left Minecraft on all night. <laughs> and uh, in doing so, I, I'll be honest, I did peek. And uh, let's just say this thing works very, very well. Um, and we sort of have a backlog. <laughs> so if, if, you, if you know what that means, hopper full, hopper full, hopper full. Chests are all full. So maybe I should have put more chests here if I was going to leave it on for like 17 hours or 16 hours. Um, all I know is that this means I have an infinite supply of paper, at least until I use all the paper and trade it all away. But for now, I have pretty much an infinite supply of paper, which means we can actually go get some emeralds and maybe get some enchants going. So I'm happy I waited a day because otherwise I would have, well, I just would have never had enough paper to make this happen. I'm going to try to see if I can put the paper, I guess I could put it in there. Um, let's go see how many emeralds we can get. Of course, you know, you can exhaust the villager trades. Like, they can only do so many. Um, but maybe we can do enough to where we can get mending. And maybe we can just reset their trades, too. Um, but I don't know. I'm feeling good. You know, it's the next day. Usually, I don't do this. Like, it's only, like, the third or fourth time I've ever done this. But I wanted to wait. I feel like it would just, you know, it, it wouldn't have worked correctly if I hadn't waited. So, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, actually, because it doesn't matter to you guys. <laughs> You're like, sorry, I don't care what you do, Neo. It's, it's all good with me, brother. Uh, Come on, brother. Give me, give me, give me the minerals. Give me the minerals. This isn't working very well. I w See, you guys told me there's a way you can, like, shift it. You can, like, shift, click the paper into the villager tree. I know there's a way to work to do it, but you, for some reason you can't shift, click it, and I'll never understand why. Um, see, he's already done trading. He's like, I'm done. And I guess once you trade with them once, they lock their trade, like they lock in. So this may have actually been a very bad idea <laughs> because if I break that, he's, he's not going to change. Right. Oh, that, that's not good. Cause he had some pretty garbage trades. Oh, uh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> well, at least I have 16 emeralds. Um, although that's not really enough to do anything with. Okay, before we get mending, we're going to do... Okay, I've decided. We're, we're going to turn this bad boy into a villager breeder. I can't do it like this. There's not enough There's not enough trades to go around. Like, I would have to wait so long for that guy to reset. And I don't... I just locked him in with bl blast protection one and bookshelves. That is like the worst... That's like the worst... Okay. Well... The thing is about doing a villager breeder is I'm going to need some sort of wool source. I don't have any wool. <laughs> so we're going to put this thing on hold for now just because there's absolutely nothing I can do with it yet because I don't have enough emeralds. I forgot. I just bottlenecked myself twice. Now my bottleneck is the amount of villager trades I can get. So if only I had a big room to make into a small villager breeder. Man, if only I had a big room with with enough space in it. Hmm. Wouldn't that be awesome if I had a space big enough? You guys get what I'm saying? 
I think we're going to make a villager breeder. Let's go see if we can find some sheep, first of all. Um, I don't want to put the sheep in here. This place is too clean to have any sheep. Um, I didn't grab the fence. I was going to do some fence in the middle, but it's fine like that for now. Let's just go outside, and it's dark, so let me sleep. All right, well, let's just see if there's any sheep around here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I forgot that mobs spawn at night. Uh, one thing is, I don't know, how much wheat do I have? I know I have the Tilted Circular Diagonal Farm, but I don't know if I ever really have had a surplus of wheat. Uh, but uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, it would have been in one of the chests around the wheat farm. I think there's a barrel over here that would have it in it. Because it's not in my house. I don't remember moving any wheat at all. No, there's none in there. Okay. Wait, is there another? There wasn't another area I had wheat, so I guess I just don't have any. Which seems very odd to me. I feel like I should have a lot, right? I really don't. I mean, I guess I haven't bred cows in so long. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a... There is a barrel in here, isn't there? Is it in here? That's... That's not it, chief. <laughs> I don't think the three... Uh, the three wheat is it. Well, we'll go up here and we'll farm the tur tilt the turted. We'll find we'll, yep. We'll farm the turted circular diagonal farm because uh, I do need the wheat. Um, but the bigger question is, is is there sheep around here? And that's an unknown. I really don't know if there is sheep around here. I would assume and I would hope that there's sheep around here, but I legitimately have no idea. But yeah, let me farm this thing real quick. <sighs> you know what I don't have? I don't I don't have a hoe. I I just I just don't. That's one thing I just don't have. So we're going to have to... That was almost bad. I don't even know what would happen if you broke it with that. Surely it wouldn't just disappear, right? Like you wouldn't just lose all your stuff. And that would be absolutely savage if you just lost all your stuff from something like that. Oh, that's not right. So we got to make one of these bad boys, which is frustrating. But it's because this... Th it's because of that right there. You know, this thing does give you a good bit of wheat seeds. Um, a good bit of wheat, obviously, the thing you want. Uh, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to use. <laughs> it looks, I think it looks good. People have said it looks more like a satellite dish and it looks kind of stupid, but I thought I was being unique. You know, I've never seen anyone built to build a tur tilt. I can't speak. I've never seen anyone build a tilted circular diagonal farm. And so I did it, but I think people are hating. I got some haters out there. They don't like the tilted farm. They think it looks dumb. Let's go see if we can find some sheep, though. Um, because, yeah, we would just need a decent-sized sheep farm. Um, we don't really have any areas that have grass, though. <laughs> except for in there. Of course, you know, we can always silk touch grass. We really don't have any. I mean, we have a lot of wheat seeds in there, but that's it. Might as well grab all this while we're over here. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go find some sheep. And then we will put them somewhere close to our pyramid. But we don't have any, any grass. I guess we could just like silk touch some grass. Do we even have, a, does this have silk touch? Yeah, it does. So we can just grab some grass and do it like that. That's fine. But yeah, I seriously don't know if there's any sheep. I mean, I, they don't spawn in the desert. Nothing really spawns in the desert. So let me run over here. And if there's no sheep over here, then we're going to have to end the episode and do that next week because I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll look for some sheep like off the bat, but no promises here. I am very happy to see the sugarcane farm works so well. Um, that's always a good thing uh, when sugarcane farms do what you want. When anything does what you want it to do is a good thing. Um, okay. So I won't give up yet because I haven't really looked at all, but I'm not going to look for an extended period of time. I'll give it like three or four minutes. Uh, but hopefully there's just a couple of sheep around here. There's a cow. I don't need you, buddy. I need, I need, I need a sheep. That's not a sheep. <laughs> okay, well, I'll run around for a bit. I'll see if I can find a sheep. Okay, well, I haven't found any sheep, so I'll look next weekend um, or next week. For next week's episodes, we'll probably do that, that we can actually properly trade with the villagers. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, I really would appreciate a like on it. Um, it took a lot of work. It took two days to make this one specifically. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. The secret code for today's episode is going to be... 2108 so put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you actually watched the whole video because if you didn't watch the whole video you wouldn't see that secret code so i'll try to like every single comment that has a secret code in it but keep in mind i can't do that anymore i try my best but like there's so many comments now that 
Oh, I used to reply to every single comment and I did that for almost like eight or nine months straight and that really got to be so I had to quit but you know it was a, it was a good and a bad thing that I quit I had to quit I had to quit for a good reason but I didn't like quitting um, you know I quit because I got too big I guess and I was never I was never gonna keep this here I don't know why I've kept this for so long like I don't need this like I don't I don't know why it's still here I do not need all this bamboo but thank you guys for watching I do appreciate it I hope you guys have uh, had a good weekend, and I will see you for next week's episodes. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, see you then. Bye!